Hello, and welcome to Altium Designer. In this video, we will go over the conditions leading to an Altium Designer license showing a subscription status of expired even though the subscription is up to date. We will also go over what needs to be done to update the subscription status of the license with the recently renewed subscription end date. Your Altium Designer subscription status shows that it is expired, though you are certain that you have renewed the subscription on the license. With a subscription status of expired, the warning of, this installation of Altium Designer is not supported by the subscription on this license is presented, and you will not be able to open or create Altium Designer projects and documents. This can happen with standalone and private server licenses when you are working offline and the license was activated prior to a recent subscription renewal. First, we will start with reactivating the standalone license to update the subscription expiration date with the new date given from the recent subscription renewal. With a machine that has internet access, this process is quite simple. Select the standalone license and select Reactivate. We will need to sign in with Altium Live Credentials to update the license. Now the standalone license is synced with the Altium Cloud and reflecting a valid subscription status from the recent renewal of the subscription, thus resolving the warning regarding the installation not supported by the subscription on the license. Now we can sign out and see that the subscription status is valid and that new Altium Designer documents and projects can be opened and created. If your machine does not have access to the internet, the newly updated license file will need to be downloaded by an Altium Group Administrator from the Altium Live dashboard on a machine that does have internet access so that the Altium license file, or .alf, can be manually added to your installation. I am deleting the license file for demonstration purposes. Open a web browser and go to altium.com. Sign in with Altium Live credentials and being an Altium Live Group Administrator for your organization, you will see next to your name at the top of the page the dashboard link to access several tools to view and manage your account. Within the Altium Live dashboard, access the Licenses tab. Find your standalone license and click on the license name heading with the gold font. Then click the Activate link at the top of the page. At the bottom of the page, you can select a version of Altium you wish to activate the license for. Select Altium Designer 2018 and then click the OK button to download the license file. Move the license file to the likes of a USB flash drive so it can be transferred to the Altium Designer installation on the machine that does not have internet access. Make use of Add Standalone License File in the License Manager to manually add the updated standalone license file to the installation, enabling the opening and creating of Altium Designer projects and documents. If you are using private server licenses and you see that the subscription status for the license is expired, along with the warning regarding your installation not being supported by the subscription on the license, and you are certain that the subscription has been renewed, then the private license server itself will need to be directly accessed to update the license information. Open up a web browser and access the server machine that is hosting the licenses. In my case, it is localhost plus the port number, which will bring up the web interface for the Altium infrastructure server that serves the private server licenses. Sign in with the default username and password of admin admin or a current username and password if the default has been changed. In the upper right corner, select Admin Licenses. Here we can see the subscription status on the Altium Designer license is expired. Click the Refresh button to sync the license with the Altium Cloud and update the license with the new subscription end date from the recent subscription renewal. Now that we see the license has been updated with the new subscription end date, we will need to go back to the Altium Designer installation and use Refresh to update the license being used by this installation of Altium Designer with the new subscription end date, thus resolving the warning and allowing the opening and creating of Altium Designer projects and documents. It may be that the Altium infrastructure server serving the licenses does not have access to the internet, 
in which case you will not be able to refresh the licenses from the AIS web interface and the license will need to be downloaded from the Altium Live dashboard to be manually added to the Altium infrastructure server. Open a web browser and go to altium.com. Sign in with Altium Live credentials. Select Dashboard, followed by Licenses. Find the private server license. Click on the license name heading with the gold font. Then click the Activate link at the top of the next page. At the bottom of the page, select Altium Designer 2018 and then click the OK button to download the license file. Move the license file to the likes of a USB flash drive so it can be transferred to the server machine hosting the licenses and manually added. Back in the AIS web interface with access to the licenses page through the admin drop down menu, I am going to delete the Altium Designer license so it can then be manually added by selecting Add License from File. Upon adding the license file, you will be provided a dialog indicating if the license imported successfully or not. Now back to Altium Designer to make use of Refresh. To update the private server license being used by this installation of Altium Designer with the newly updated information in the Altium infrastructure server thus resolving the warning and allowing the opening and creating of Altium Designer projects and documents. In summary, we went over the conditions leading to an Altium Designer license showing a subscription status of expired even though the subscription is up to date. We also covered the various methods to update the subscription status of your Altium license files. Thank you for choosing Altium Designer.